What's going on y'all? Micah here and I'm back with some more content, man. Today I got some disheartening news, man. Uh, everybody that was looking forward to the Errol Spence Pacquiao fight on August 21st, well, you're out of luck. Because uh, this article here states otherwise. It's saying Errol Spence Jr. out of Manny Pacquiao fight because of eye injury. Your Danis Ubis takes his place. And that's not really the fight that we wanted to see. Well, it's not the fight I want to see, at least, man. I won't be tuning in unless I'm streaming. But uh, let's see what the hell is going on in the article. Here's what it starts with. Yet another one of Summer's biggest fights to follow through is Errol Spence Jr. has been forced to withdraw from his playing WBC and IBF welterweight title defense against the legendary Manny Pacquiao. Spence suffered a retinal tear that forced him out of the belt. And with that retinal tear, you kind of think, like, uh, you know, what kind of sparring are they doing, man? I guess, uh, I guess you think about it when you when people pay you for sparring, they're really trying to take you out of there, and that in turn is going to make the person who's getting paid for the sparring defend themselves viciously. So it's going to be a it's going to be a war in the gym, man. It's not going to be just no easy sparring. So I guess that's what happened, man. Push came to shove, and you know he got punched just the wrong way, and now we got a retinal tear. Next, Pacquiao will now face WBA welterweight champion Yordanis Ugas in its August 21st pay-per-view main event. That's not what I want to see. I don't think that Ugas can beat Pacquiao. I think he's got some skills, and I think he could possibly, you know, I think he could do something. I just, I don't know. It's just not going to be as interesting. It's not going to be as entertaining as Errol Spence versus Pacquiao. Ugas is, is a good fighter and everything like that, but Spence is an elite fighter. Next. Oh, this is a quote from Errol Spence. I, I, I'm very disappointed I won't be able to fight Manny Pacquiao, Spence said in a press release. I was excited about the fight. Unfortunately, the doctor found a tear in my left eye and said I needed surgery on it ASAP and that there was no way I could get, I could fight with my eye in that condition. I hope y'all like my Spence voice. That was my Spence voice. Next, Ugas was already scheduled to face Baby and Madonna in a title defense in the nice featured undercard bout. I read that like hooked on phonics. <laughs> he was promoted to super champion status due to Pacquiao's inactivity after Pacquiao won the belt in July 2019 over Keith Thurman. Next, Pacquiao has not fought since the Thurman fight, which was a stunning return to the world title scene after it seemed Pacquiao's time as an elite fighter had come to an end. Spence, 31, is undefeated in one of the sports pound-for-pound -pound elite fighters. He has held welterweight gold since May 2017, and Pacquiao fight was a chance for him to apply his trade against one of the best fighters of the modern era. And I would have liked to see that, man. Uh, Pacquiao, even though Pacquiao is old and everything like that, I think he still got a uh, maybe, maybe, maybe one or two good fights in him, man. He still got that elite speed and cardio. Even though he slowed down just a bit when he fought Keith Thurman, he was getting kind of tired a little bit. But it's like Keith Thurman got beat pretty good for him to be much younger than Pacquiao. Next part of the article, and then I guess this is, uh, I guess this is Errol Spence again. Oh, who is this? Oh, no, this is Pacquiao. Oh, so we gotta do Pacquiao, but. But then for more, I, I ask everyone to join me in praying for a full and complete recovery of Errol Spence Jr. Pacquiao said, thank God his physical examination discovered his eye condition before he suffered any further damage. And we got Ubis. I don't know what Ubis sounds like, so I'm just gonna read it regular. It's an honor to fight the great multiple division world champion Manny Pacquiao. So I'm more than ready to take on the challenge. I have a tremendous amount of respect for Pacquiao, but I am coming to win this fight. Ubis said he better be coming to win this fight, man. Hopefully he ain't no. Uh, they didn't call him and he hadn't been training and everything like that. Like you know how uh, you know normally when they get replacements in on fights, the guy hasn't been training, so now he's trying to put it in the overdrive and camp. He's not conditioned. His weight is not up to par, so he's draining 20 pounds of weight, and now he comes in there, and it's over with. Before it even started, and it's looking like, bro, like, can you even fight? I think it's gonna be one of them kind of situations. I don't think he's been training this whole time, being ready for Pacquiao. Well, I guess they said he was ready. He was getting ready for uh, Fabian Maidana, so I guess I can shut up. But uh, next, I guess it's just a little quote of who was talking about how he came from. Cuba to America and all this crap, and he's like, yeah, uh, nobody wants to hear that. But uh, that's the end of the article, it looks like, right there. And uh, I'm not too excited about the fight. This reminds me of the same thing that happened with Caleb Plant and Canelo. 
when uh, Canelo just randomly came out and fight, fought that random dude who was, we don't even know who his name is, and destroyed him. That's what I want to see. I know they're supposed to be fighting again, so uh, I'm looking forward to that. And, uh, yeah. But uh, as far as this fight goes right here, I, I think that I'm going to give Manny Pacquiao the nod, because Ugas does not have that same speed and cardio. Manny Pacquiao, Manny Pacquiao was training for Errol Spence. Errol Spence is a better fight than Ugas. So I'm pretty sure he wasn't in there slacking off in the gym. I mean, I know he's a politician and all that now in the Philippines and everything like that, but I'm pretty sure he's not taking the training lightly. So Ugas is in for a rude awakening. But uh, yeah, that's it for the video, man. What do y'all think about this whole situation, man? Were you looking forward to seeing Manny Pacquiao fight Errol Spence? Do you not care either way it goes? You just want to see the GOAT get in that thing and fight somebody? Do you think Ugas has what it takes to win? Do you think Ugas is going to get washed? What do you think is going to happen to Errol Spence in the future? Do you think he's going to come back? Or do you think he's going to be real weary of that eye retina tear? Let me know. I mean, he's probably going to come back, of course, but... Yeah, man, it's gonna it's gonna affect him mentally at least. He's gonna be thinking about it when he gets in there. Like, I, my I could get turned up. My I, my I can get told up. I can get blind. You know, something like that. But uh, yeah, this is uh something I'm probably gonna have to stream. I'm probably gonna stream this. So I'm not, yeah, definitely not paying for it. But uh, that's that. Y'all, let me know what y'all think. I'll be back with another video soon. Y'all have a great day. I'll see y'all next time.